What's going on guys? We are live. My name is Cheryl Martinez. I am the founder of Beginner Cooking and today we are cooking along a, one of my favorite recipes. It's called chai masala tea, also known as a chai tea latte. Now you can get the recipe at chai.beginnercooking.com and I'll give you a quick rundown of the ingredients you need. Hi Juan. Hi the Capra Mix. Hi Hi Collide. Hi Koji. What's going on guys? How's everybody doing? Hi, Karen. Hi, Christian. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome to my weekly free plant-based cooking class. I do this every single Sunday, same place, same time at 4 p.m. EDT at facebook.com slash Cheryl.tv. If you've been joining me every single week, I love you. Thank you so much for coming back and, uh, and cooking with me live every Sunday. You are amazing. Hi, John Albee. How are you? Hi, uh, P. Woodman. What's up, guys? So again, we're making chai masala tea. This is my favorite favorite latte. I'm sure you guys have tried this before at your favorite coffee shop. Now I'm going to show you how you can make it at home. Juan says thermal mix. Yes, thermal mix. Of course. Oh, Karen is here with Angie and Mangie, An Angie and Manny. Hello, Angie and Manny. How are you guys? I'm so glad you were here tuning and joining us. Hi, Gareth. Um, uh, Paratrooper says, I heard that there was a coin shortage, shortage, but you're a dime. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi, uh, Red Zone. Hi, uh, S S uh, T Money. What's going on? Gasham. And Sana Shah is watching. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. All right, we're making chai masala tea, okay? All you're gonna need is some cardamom, some fennel seeds, which are, which are optional, some cloves, your favorite non-dairy milk. You can use cashew milk, oat milk. Today, I'm using toasted coconut almond milk. This is one of my favorites by Calivia Farms. If you haven't heard of this brand, definitely check it out the next time you're at Whole Foods or wherever you shop. Calivia Farms has amazing non-dairy milk. Their toasted coconut almonds, their oat milk is all awesome. I also love Oatly. They're another awesome great uh, great brands for oat milk. Um, so if you're looking for some great non-dairy milk, milk, milk alternatives, I can help you find your favorite one. You can also um, check out um, uh, Foragers Projects. They make awesome cashew milk. Oh, Jane is here. Hello, Jane. Jane was the winner of our inspiration earrings last week. Congratulations again to Jane. She just told me she just got her free gift in the mail and she is loving it. And I'm going to be announcing the winner of last week's earrings, the strawberry earrings in a little bit. So if you shared last week's class, Class. Don't go anywhere because you can be the winner that I'm going to be announcing later. And if you want to enter to win this week's earrings, which are the pineapple earrings, just click the share button right now and you will automatically be entered to win the pineapple earrings. Hey, Jacqueline, what's going on? Jacqueline says, love today's makeup look. Why, thank you. Y'all know pink is one of my favorite colors. What's going on, sweetheart? Jacqueline's tuning in from South Africa. Jane is tuning in from Texas. We have Karen, Angie, and Manny tuning in from New York. Where else is everyone tuning in from? Comment in the chats where you're from. Hi, Ricky Corcoran. Hi, Bianca. Hi, um, uh, user 7652. <laughs> What's up, guys? All right, guys. So again, the quick rundown of what you need the cardamom, fennel seeds, cloves, non-dairy milk, that's where we left off, some black tea leaves, a cinnamon stick, a monk fruit sugar substitute, ground ginger and ground ginger for a little sprinkle on the top, all right? That's all you need to make this. It's a really quick, really simple recipe today, guys. Laura Louise is here. Hi, Laura, how are you, sweetheart? So glad that you're back tuning in live with us today. It's wonderful to have you here again. John Alby says he's tuning in from New Jersey. Ricky Corcoran says he's tuning in from Yonkers, New York. Hi, Collide is tuning in from Arizona. That's awesome, guys. We've got people here from all over the world connecting, trying to share um, fun, healthy recipes. If you are just vegan curious and you're not interested in being a vegan, don't worry about it. I am just trying to help anyone who wants to add more plant-based meals to their diet, whether it's a little bit more plant-based meals or a lot of plant-based meals. It's okay, guys. You're welcome here. Don't worry. Everyone's welcome. All right, guys. So please Come join us every single Sunday where we feature a new, cool, yummy, healthy, plant-based recipe that I promise will be easy to make and guaranteed delicious, all right? Hi, Elliot, what's going on? Hi, Scarlett, hi, Mello. Mello's tuning in from uh, Pasadena, Texas, nice. Paratroopers tuning in from Boston. 
Jacqueline says, looking forward to this week's. You know I love decadent coconut milk drinks. Yes, I do. And uh, Ilona Gatte is here. Hey, guys. All right, guys, so we're going to jump right into the recipe. If you have any questions, if you're cooking along with me live today and you need me to slow down or anything, just let me know. Um, I encourage you guys to cook with us during the live stream so we can really, really interact and make this stuff together. So um, I always pick the recipe a couple days before so you have time to get the ingredients and I post it on the site, beginnercooking.com. So this way you guys can cook along with us um, every Sunday, all right? So today we're making chai masala tea. So you're going to need your um, your stove top if you don't have my robot chef. This is my Thermomix, my TM6, my lover, my assistant in the kitchen. This is where I got the recipe from. I used to spend a ton of money at Starbucks and coffee shops buying this latte all the time. And now I'm so, so, so happy that he introduced me to this recipe so that I can make it myself at home and save tons of money. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your favorite lattes. And if chai tea latte isn't your favorite, you can alter it and make any of your favorite lattes at home, right guys? So save some money, make the stuff at home, and um, and you can just you can enjoy it anytime. You don't have to go outside, you don't have to go to the store, you don't have to put your mask on, you make it in the comfort of your own home and drink it as often as you want, okay? Hi Cruz, hi Marissa Hines, thank you for the follow. Hi Nicole, Catherine, how are you? All right guys, so Let's get this recipe started. Again, go to chai.beginnercooking.com so you can see the rundown right there of what you need and the step-by-step -step so you can cook along with us, no problem. All right, guys? So I click Start Cooking. And the first ingredient is to add the cardamom pods. So if you don't have cardamom pods, you can actually use just ground cardamom. This spice is quite expensive, but you only use a tiny bit for each recipe, so it lasts a really long time. And it's such a beautiful scent. Mm, such a beautiful, powerful flavor that it's just a wonderful spice to have in your house, okay guys? So, so the equivalent of four cardamom pods is about a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cardamom, okay? So grab your measuring spoon. Fourth of a teaspoon is really tiny, all right? It's just a little sprinkle, and you're gonna pop that in first, okay? And we're, if you're using seeds, you're gonna have to chop the seeds up now um, in this step, but if you're using the ground version of things, then you don't have to chop anything up, all right? So most blenders can handle grinding some seeds into a powders or, or like food choppers and stuff like that. My robot chef can grind anything, but, um, but if you don't have a device that can grind the seeds for you, then just get the stuff already ground, okay? Jacqueline says, love this, less Starbucks equals less paper and plastic. Yes, that too. Good point, Jacqueline. Thank you for bringing that up. Hi, uh, Mosku003, what's going on? Hi, user905 and Shannon Dallum. Hi, host in Calgary. Hi, guys. All right, so we click next. And the next step is to add a quarter teaspoon of fennel seeds. Now, I don't have fennel seeds, but I'm gonna skip this step for now. Um, but it's in my shopping cart for my next Whole Foods delivery. But if you have fennel seeds, feel free to throw that in right now, okay? Now we click next, and my robot is saying to add two to three whole cloves. So I'm going to be adding the cloves right here. I'm just gonna put two because I don't want too many cloves for my personal taste, but feel free to put however many of you like. Cloves are really powerful, all right, guys? So be careful with too much cloves. All right, hi, uh, John Sontag. What's going on? Hi, Fernando. Hi, guys. We're making my favorite chai tea latte. All right, guys, so once you have your cardamom, your fennel, and your cloves, that's, that's your next step now where you're gonna grind that stuff if you're not using powder, okay? So I click next and I'm gonna turn the knob to speed six and my robot is going to grind that for us. So everything is in a perfect powder ready for the next step. And uh, next up we're going to be adding the milk, the tea, the cinnamon stick, the monk fruit and the ginger. And then we're gonna cook all of that together, okay? That's what is happening next, all right? So, my robot is saying to add water, but personally, I like it to be extra creamy, so I'm gonna be using no water and all milk, right? But the choice is up to you if you want it to be more of a tea vibe versus like a latte vibe, but I want it to be like a really creamy latte, so I'm gonna use all milk right now, okay? So again, Califia Farms Toasted Coconut Almond Milk is the bomb, I highly recommend this. If you haven't tried Califia Farms Non-Dairy Milks yet, definitely pick it up, it's an awesome brand that I love, another great non-dairy 
non-dairy milk brand is Oatly, and another great non-dairy milk brand is uh, Forager's Project. All right, guys, those are some of my favorites. So you can't go wrong. We have so many non-dairy milk options. Tell me, comment in the chats, what is your favorite non-dairy milk that you love to use? Everyone, share your favorites right now. Let's show each other and, and help each other, um, you know, find out what are the best plant-based alternatives out there. Let each other know. Spread that plant-based love. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Sharon. Sharon's back. Sharon tunes in every week. I love you, Sharon. Thank you so much for being such an amazing supporter of the beginner community. All right, guys. So uh, Vera Yadi is here. Greco Anthony is here. What's up? Uh, Marissa Hines. Hey, guys. So again, comments in the chat. What is your favorite non-dairy milk? What do you want to use? I'm using this one right here. All right, guys. So you're going to do 900 grams of your non-dairy milk. All right, guys. So I'm adding that in right now. My TM6 robot is weighing that for me, which is so wonderful. He's so amazing like that trying to do it in a way where you guys can see and I'm not like blocking anything. So you can see the weight changing right here as he's weighing it. And if you don't have um, like a kitchen scale, you can, um, you can just convert grams or ounces to cups and then just measure by cups. If you just Google any conversion, any, you'll, be, you'll be fine. So don't worry if, um, if you're not sure what 900 grams is, okay? All right, there we go. That is my 900 grams of milk. All right, and I'm clicking next. And now we're going to add a tablespoon of black tea leaves. So you can buy black tea leaves um, already loose, or if you already have some tea bags in your house of like um, uh, English breakfast, I know a lot of people have like English breakfast tea in their house. That is that is black tea already. So you could just cut open those tea bags and just pour in the leaves. Um, it's just like a quick solution. If, if, you, if you're unable to just go out and buy like loose leaf black tea, that's fine too. All right, guys, just keep it simple. Laura Louise says, silk unsweetened soy milk is her favorite. Nice. Oh, Marie is here. Hello, Marie. Marie was, was the winner of our inspiration earrings the previous week before Jane won last week. So Marie, congratulations again to you too. Nicole's favorite is unsweetened, unflavored almond milk that we always buy from Costco. Okay, nice. Luchi is here. Hello, Luchi. luchi has been vegan for a really, really long time. So I know that she has a lot of tips and advice to share with all you guys too. Luchi, what's your favorite non-dairy milk? All right, guys. So again, please click that share button. I do a weekly giveaway every single cooking class. So this week's giveaway are these pineapple inspiration earrings. I call them inspiration earrings because they inspire you to eat healthy and they inspire others around you to try a plant-based diet and they, and they help spread that plant-based love. So I feature a different plant-based earring every single week that I give away during my live cooking classes. So if you click the share button right now, you will automatically automatically be entered to win these gorgeous pineapple earrings, which I'll be announcing the winner in next week's class. And if you shared last week's class, then you entered to win these strawberry earrings right here, which I'm going to be announcing the winner in a little bit. So stay tuned to find out who won the strawberry earrings for sharing last week's class. And if you want to enter to win the pineapple earrings, share this week's class right now. Share it to your page, share it to groups, share it to family and friends. The more shares, the better. I just want to help um, inspire more people to eat healthier and live kinder and save animals and save the planet. And I can't do that without your help. So you can help, um, you can help people and you can help animals and you can help the planet and we can do that together. So, all right guys, let's spread that love. And Luchi's favorite non-dairy milk is almond milk, okay? We got, we got a lot of almond milk lovers today. I don't know if you guys have tried this toasted coconut almond milk, but it's a really good one. The only thing about this one is that it it has a very um 
a very kind of strong flavor because it's toasted coconut. So it's great for smoothies and stuff, but if you wanted to use it for like cooking, um, I would use more of just like a plain simple um, oat milk because this might be too flavorful for like baking and stuff like that, but it's great for lattes and smoothies, okay? All right, guys, so again, if you just tuned in, this is where we're at in the recipe. We just added the non-dairy milk with the cloves, the fennel seeds, and the cardamom, okay? So I click next, oh, and now we're adding our black tea leaves. So a tablespoon of black tea leaves, okay, guys? We pop that in, click next. Now we're adding a two centimeter cinnamon quill. I just cut one cinnamon stick in half, and this is what I like to use, and I just throw that in. If you don't have cinnamon sticks, of course you can use cinnamon powder, but I really like cooking this milk with the cinnamon stick, all right, guys? Just get fancy, all right? You're gonna love it, you're gonna love it, get fancy. So we're gonna throw in that cinnamon stick, we click next, and now my TM6 robot is saying to add 20 to 60 grams of white sugar, which is optional, but I'm going to be using my favorite sugar substitute that you guys all know about called monk fruit. It's gluten-free, non-GMO, zero calories, zero glycemic index, zero carbs, rich in antioxidants, and works just like sugar as a one-to-one -one replacement, and looks and smells just like sugar, guys. So. If you um, like your, your, um, your latte sweet, use some monk fruit instead of sugar. If you don't have monk fruit, you can also add some maple syrup or some agave nectar, whatever you have in your house, okay? All right, guys. Karen says, yummy. I love cinnamon in my coffee each morning. And Luchi says, I love coconut too. It always depends on what I'm preparing for the day. Yes, absolutely. Kind V is here. Hello, Kind V. How are you? Hi, uh, Jill D'Amico. Hi, Sandy. Sandy Kimmy Cox. What's going on? King Gibbs. What's going on? The Capra Mix says, or you can make it with your TM6. Yes, you can make anything with your TM6, anything. That's why I love it. I'm not wasting money on lattes at Starbucks anymore because I make all this stuff at home with my TM6. Is every single latte recipe in the world in here and more, 60,000 recipes. All right, guys, so my, my TM6 is going to be weighing the sugar. I'm gonna put about 20 grams of the monk fruits in here because I don't want it to be too, too sweet. But again, feel free to adjust the sweetness based on how sweet you personally prefer your lattes to be. All right, guys, so now I added the monk fruit. I click next. Now we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, okay? All right, are you guys with me? Again, if you're just tuning in, you can follow along this recipe at chai.beginnercooking.com. Okay, guys, this is a... Uh... Okay, chai.beginnercooking.com is where you can get all of the recipe details for what we are making during the live cooking class today, okay? Kind B says, I'm good. How are you? Excited to attend the live video. Well, welcome. I know it's your first time here, Kind B. Where are you tuning in from and, and what is your name? Um, but yes, yes, we do this every Sunday at 4 p.m. EDT at facebook.com slash Cheryl.tv. And I feature a new, cool, amazing, delicious plant-based recipe every week. So be sure to tune in and join us every Sunday, okay? All right, so after the ginger, I click next. And we're gonna put the top on and we're gonna cook that for 10 minutes. So this is what it looks like, all right? So you guys can see we have all of our yummy spices in here mixed in with the non-dairy milk and our black tea leaves, okay guys? So now you want to cook all of that together to really let all of that aroma just, mm, okay? So you wanna cook that for 10 minutes on your stove if you're not using my robot chef. So I'm going to turn the knob to speed one. And we're going to put that for 10 minutes. So you and I have 10 minutes to hang out right now while this cooks. And something that I definitely recommend for this recipe because all of this stuff is being cooked loosely, you're gonna need some kind of strainer or like a nut milk bag in order to strain this into your mug or a jug when it's done, right? This thing right here, I absolutely love. This is a little tea strainer, which I recommend on my uh, shopping list page. So if you go to beginnercooking.com and you click on shopping, and you, um, I have an Amazon shopping list that has all of my favorite things that I love to use. So um, you can um, definitely grab one of these tea strainers 
and you can literally just pop it right over your mug, whatever mug you use, it fits on pretty much anything, okay? And then when you just pour your, your latte mixture over this, it kind of holds all the tea leaves and any chunks of anything. So this way you just have that smooth, creamy, delicious latte when you're done, okay? So definitely grab something like this, or if you don't want one of those and you already have, let's say, like a nut milk bag, you can put the nut milk bag over a jug and then you can strain it that way as well. So there's a couple of different ways to strain it, but if you are using loose leaf tea, which is really, really nice to make a really, really fancy latte over here, I definitely recommend picking up one of these little tea strainers, all right? They're super cool. Um, we have uh, Big Jim is here. We have uh, Mar Marissa Hines is here. We have uh, Gary the Human. Where are you tuning in from? Joshua's here. Kind B says, my name is Anjali and I'm from India. That's awesome. What part of India are you from, love? I used to live in Bombay. Uh, Amoroso uh, Orozco is here. And Marie Eve says, happy sundog, everyone. Yes, happy Sunday fun day. Jacqueline says, um... Same, so many funky ingredients. Oh, replying to Laura, I can't wait to try this. Thank you for the fabulous recipe. Oh, I'm so glad that you're excited, Laura. I wasn't sure, because I try to do a lot of um, like actual meals for you guys, but every now and then, I also want to throw in a couple like desserts and a couple drinks, especially this one, because this is just my, oh, just one of my favorites. I can't tell you how often I used to drink chai tea lattes, because I'm actually, I'm not a big coffee person. Um, caffeine kind of bothers my tummy a little bit, so I've always kind of had to stay away from caffeine, but chai tea latte is just a little bit of black tea, so it's not as much caffeine as a coffee, so um, this has just been like my go-to, and being able to make it extra creamy with a nice creamy non-dairy milk is just made it like this, honestly, this tastes better than the ones that I used to buy at Starbucks, to be honest, okay, and like I said, we're saving a ton of money here, right? Anna Carr is watching, hi, Anna Carr. Luchi says, oh my God, monk fruit is great. Yes, Luchi knows about the monk fruit. Yeah, girl. I love putting more people onto monk fruit. And I also love when people already know about monk fruit because it is, you know, what we need. You know, everyone is, is uh, overdosing on sugar nowadays. So monk fruit is like the new cool thing, the new, the new thing that's trending that everyone is loving to switch to right now because monk fruit, you can use that as one-to-one -one replacement in all of your sugar needs, including like baking cookies and stuff, all right guys? So um, let's see who else is here. Sharon says, I add raw cacao. Yes, that's a great idea, Sharon. I love that. Hi, Eyeball Will, where are you tuning in from? What's going on? Hi, uh, Users Port Rob. What's going on? Anna Carr, where are you from? What else? Oh, Elvis Vargas is here. Hi, Elvis Vargas, how are you? Hi, Marilyn Guppy. Marilyn, where are you from? Marie says chai latte is sweet. Yeah, it is. It is supposed to be sweet, which is why I like to add, you know, the monk fruit. Some of my other lattes, I don't put any any type of sweetener in it, but for chai, it's just the combination is just amazing when it has that nice sweet flavor. Karen says delicious. I'm going to make once I get home. Yay! I'm so glad you guys are all enjoying this recipe. I really wasn't sure if everyone was going to be excited about a latte, but I knew it was my favorite, and I love sharing all of my favorite things with you guys. So it makes me really happy to know that so many of you guys are really excited about this recipe, like I am. Again, you can get the recipe at chai.beginnercooking.com. This is what it looks like on the Beginner Cooking website, okay guys? You can scroll here, I have some pictures of what it looks like, some pictures of my favorite milks, a picture of the monk fruit. I also link to all of these ingredients and I link to, you know, um, you know, the monk fruit and my milks and stuff like that. And I give you the rundown right here on the site, okay? If you happen to make this uh, latte, you can actually add your own photo at the bottom. You can just log in to leave a comment with a photo of how your latte came out so you can share that photo with everyone in the beginner cooking community. You can also post it on social media, tag at beginner cooking, and we will repost it on our pages too, guys. So again, follow at beginner cooking. And uh, my robot, my TM6 robot over here also has his own social media pages. If you want to check him out, it's at my robot chef. Um, you can see all the cool things that I make with this thing. Again, he makes over 60,000 
recipes. I know, it's pretty crazy, right? He has recipes from all over the world in tons of different languages. And uh, I'm actually, a, I have promo codes for this thing. I'm doing free demos. I love it so much that I just wanna share it with everyone else. So if you want to sign up for a free demo and a promo code to meet my TM6 robot on Zoom, we can do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom chat. I'm happy to show you how he works and answer any questions. You can sign up for that demo at robot.beginnercooking.com. And, uh, and I'm happy to, um, to, uh, to show you uh, everything that he can do. He can actually cook up to four things at the same time with this multi-level cooking feature. He has 20 different modes. He replaces practically everything in your kitchen, including your stove. So no more washing pots and pans. He even cleans himself. He has his own cleaning mode. So it is definitely the future of cooking. It's like having a smart kitchen or a sous chef to help you out with your cooking. So I highly recommend this thing for anyone that is not only trying to eat healthier but if you're just trying to just cook more at home in general if and even if you're trying not to be vegan he has tons of recipes in here that aren't vegan although of course I'm sharing only the plant-based ones um, I've been I've been vegan since January and I absolutely love all the health benefits and everything that I've been feeling so um, that is why I want to share all of my favorite plant-based recipes to help you guys feel amazing too okay and to realize that you don't have to give up the things you love you just have to switch to the kinder alternatives because we can make a vegan version of almost anything nowadays all right vegan's cool now vegan's trending everyone's trying it everyone's doing it all these new cool plant-based brands keep popping up all over the place am i right yes all right we have uh brianna almond is watching where are you from love Marie says, latte is so good. That's a smart machine. Yes, it is. Angie says, you look beautiful as always. Oh, thank you, Tita. Shari is watching. Shari, where are you from? Marie says, love the pink. Thank you, love. Sharon says, would be great in an Airbnb room that doesn't have a kitchen. Yes, Sharon. You're always coming up with the awesome ideas, Sharon. That's actually really, really, really genius. If anyone uh, is in the Airbnb biz, this would be a perfect thing to have for your guests so you don't have to worry about, you know, the stove and pots and pans and all that stuff. Omar Ortiz is watching. Hi, Omar. What's going on? Jacqueline replied to Sharon. Yes, yes, yes. I know Sharon's always having the good ideas. Kind B says, thank you for sharing the recipes with us. Well, my pleasure, love. I always share more recipes every single week. I'm constantly updating the site. So make sure you go to um, beginnercooking.com to check out what the latest treats and eats are on the site so you can try them yourself, okay? Almost all the recipes that I post on the site actually originate inside my TM6 Robux. Like I said, he has a database of over 60,000 professionally chef-made recipes in here, which are all like via touchscreen but what I do is I adapt the recipes to um, to not only you know make some of them vegan that aren't already vegan but also to make them uh, able to be cooked without the device so if you don't have my TM6 robot you can still make all of these recipes at home in your kitchen um, because I post it in a way on my site where anyone can make it okay so I just want to share these amazing recipes that I'm learning from him and uh, and help everyone just eat healthier and try to add more plant-based meals to their diet okay hi Eddie hi Rico Suave what's going on guys how have you been hi how to stop the human bully nice username Gary the human says you're awesome thanks for the vegan recipes you're very welcome I love I'm so glad you're enjoying them hi Al Williams and I belly will is tuning in from Atlanta Atlanta Georgia what's going on that's awesome hi Nico Clemente Guys, you guys are telling me you're loving these recipes. I'm curious to know what recipes have been your favorite so far. If you've tried some of the recipes on my site, beginnercooking.com, comment in the chat and tell me which ones have been your favorite recipes. I'm really curious to know which ones you've been trying and which ones you've been loving. Oh, James Shine is here. Welcome, James. I'm so happy you're here, my love. I miss you so much. James is one of my younger cousins. He's the best. Everyone, go say hi to James. Oh, we have another James here, too. James Morando. James Morando, where are you tuning in from? Marie says, lots of great people here. Yes. 
All right, that's the beeping noise to let us know that the latte is ready. Did you see how quick and easy that was, guys? It's really not a big deal to make all this stuff at home because if you have the ingredients, you can make it over and over again. So, um, you know, you just throw in the couple spices and the milk on the stove, you cook that and it's done. That's it, guys. That's it. That's all it takes. Oh, Laura Louise says that her favorite recipe that she tried was strawberry lemonade. Yes, you know, that. you know, I think that strawberry lemonade was from my very first cooking class, which was like right in the middle of the quarantine. So Laura, that's awesome. It was the first recipe that is your favorite. Gosh, that, that really takes us back. I can't believe how many classes I've been doing since then. I've been keeping this up every single Sunday. So it's really awesome that um, you've been with us since the beginning, Laura. Karen says, I love all of them. I just had your black bean burgers yesterday. I've I've had a nice green kale salad, oh, over a nice green kale salad. Nice, good for you, Karen. All right, guys, so hi, CP Love to Fly. Hi, uh, boys and lads, what's going on? We just finished making a chai masala tea. You can get the recipe at chai.beginnercooking.com. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like and we are going to pour it and serve it and drink it and love it, which is my favorite part, the last step which is the drinking or the eating. Okay, so you can see now mm, it has that perfect caramel color from, um, you know, from cooking and all of those beautiful aromatic spices. So you can see what that looks like. Oh, and the smell is just perfection. The smell is perfection, guys. Mmm, it's so good. My favorite latte. I'm so happy right now. Literally, the first time I made this, when I found this recipe in the Team 6 robot, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I was literally like, just, it was just the best. It was the best. I, you just don't understand how happy I am that I can make this stuff at home and not have to buy it at the coffee shops anymore. It just makes me so happy. Yes. Uh, Marie says, kale salad. Love it. All right, guys. So now for this part, like I said before, you're gonna need some kind of tea strainer or a nut milk bag, okay? Pop this tea strainer over whatever mug you are using to drink your latte, all right? And then you are going to pour this so that it strains. Okay, there we go. Yes. Deliciousness. Look at that, guys. Ooh. See how nice and clear that is from using the strainer? I'm gonna pour a little bit more. And then after you pour it, you want to top it with some ground cinnamon or maybe like Sharon said, some cacao powder. If you want a nice little chocolate flavor. All right guys, so strain your latte and then we're gonna sprinkle it with some cinnamon and then we are done guys. We are done, then you can drink that. And you know, I love chai tea lattes both hot and cold. So if you um if you have extra, then you can just pop that in your refrigerator and uh, and and enjoy it tomorrow as a nice latte, right? All right, guys. So here is the latte. It's a little bit hot right now, okay? But I'm going to sprinkle some of the ground cinnamon on top which I definitely recommend doing because not only does the topping make it look pretty, but having that couple little mm, pieces of cinnamon on your lips as you sip it is just perfection. All right, guys. So here we have our finished latte, guys. Our finished latte is right here. I'm gonna put it in front of all the cameras. Homemade. Didn't have to leave my house. Didn't have to go spend a ton of money and it tastes better than any latte I've ever had because wanna know why? Because it was made with love and it was made with plant-based love, right? Because we're spreading that plant-based love every week. So I hope you guys come back and join us again every single Sunday. 4 p.m. EDT at facebook.com slash Cheryl.tv. And make sure you guys remember to click the share button to enter to win my inspiration earrings, my weekly giveaway. I give away a pair of one of my favorite plant-based earrings every single Sunday. I have all different kinds. Today's giveaway is going to be the pineapple earrings that you can see right here. And I'm about to announce the winner 
from last week's class, which is the strawberry earrings. If you guys want to, do you guys want to know who won the strawberry earrings? If you shared last week's class, then you might be the winner of these strawberry earrings. So if you guys want to know who won, let me know in the comments right now, because in a few minutes, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the strawberry earrings from everyone that shared last week's class, all right? And if you share this week's class right now, you might win the pineapple earrings, which I'm announcing at next Sunday's class, all right, guys? Uh, Georgie Simone, what's going on? Luchi says, healthy and made at home. Exactly. Kind B says, I will definitely try this recipe. It's different from the regular chai. Yay, I'm glad you're gonna try it, love. What do you normally make your uh, chai latte with? I'm curious. Sharon says, tongue twister. Um, uh, wait, 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 let me back up, I'm missing some of the comments. Marie says, you can do Tai Chi, then have a chai latte. <laughs> I love that, Marie. Marie, you're funny. You're a funny girl, Marie. Laura says, you really inspired me over quarantine to go vegan. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your awesome positivity and doing these fabulous videos slash recipes. My health has improved so much. Oh my God, Laura. Laura, you're gonna make me cry. That's so amazing. I am so proud of you. You should be so proud of yourself for, for making the transition, right? Because we all know it's not easy, but once you do, you just can't believe you didn't do it sooner because it's that amazing and you are living proof of that so congratulations to you for all of these this amazing hard work love i'm so proud of you everyone say congratulations to laura for uh being able to make this transition over the quarantine and show her your love and support for doing such a great job and keeping it up if you ever need any help or tips or advice let me know i mean have you had any struggles during the transition laura what would you say has been like the hardest part um, uh, the Capramix said, thank you, Cheryl. I would definitely try this recipe at home with my Thermomix. Yes, the Capramix, the Capramix is actually um, uh, one of my uh, Thermomix girls. She taught me so much with my Thermomix. Definitely check out her page if you wanna see some more of the awesome recipes that you can make with the TM6 because she's even better than me at using this thing. Her recipes are incredible. And she, and she has a lot of non-vegan recipes. Let me just put that out there too. All right, and she says, congrats, Laura. Yay, congrats, Laura. Jacqueline says, looks amazing, can't wait to try it. I can't wait for you to try it too, love. And um, James says, yes. Karen says, delish, I can't wait to make it. James says, reveal the lucky winner. Laura says, hearts and kisses. Marie says, you feel amazing inside too. James says, congrats, Laura. Marie says, congrats, Laura. James says, vegan pizza. James, I have a vegan pizza recipe at veganercooking.com with homemade marinara sauce and homemade dough. It's my favorite vegan pizza recipe. So definitely check that out at veganercooking.com if you want to learn how to make the, um, the vegan pizza recipe because ooh, I perfected this one. It took me a while, but, uh, but I perfected it. I put two versions of it on there too. I put a version with um, with a, a pesto sauce and with marinara sauce and with homemade dough or you can do it with store-bought dough, all right guys? So there's a couple different ways to make homemade vegan pizza, but definitely I recommend the Veal Life uh, non-dairy cheese brand for your mozzarella and Parmesan toppings because so far that brand is my favorite for non-dairy cheese. So if you haven't checked out Veal Life yet, definitely add that to your shopping cart, all right, guys? And I link to all of those ingredients and stuff on that recipe page as well. Hi, uh, uh, Edwin Galvan, what's going on? Marissa Hines, what's up? All right, James says, must have missed it. We were looking, I see it now. Okay, great, I'm glad you found it. And Marie says, mmm, vegan pizza. All right, guys. I'm just gonna let this cool off for a few more minutes and then I'm going to drink it with you guys, all right? If you have your lattes and you're ready to drink and you're ready to cheers, I am, I am excited to drink it with you all that made it with us live. If you're making it later, um, definitely send me a picture and tag at Veganer Cooking so I can see how your latte came out. 
And hi, Clyde says, the pizza looked nice, yay. And Kind Bee says, can I try this recipe with oat milk? Absolutely, the last time I made this recipe, I made it with oatly oat milk and it was amazing. So oat milk is awesome because oat milk I'd say is the closest to, um, to cow's milk because it has that creamy texture and it doesn't have some crazy flavor that makes it taste different, you know? So I know like almond milk has a very distinct flavor, soy milk has a distinct flavor, coconut milk has a distinct flavor, Oat milk is more of a neutral flavor, so that's why it's a great, great, great non-dairy milk alternative, especially for people who are transitioning, okay? So yes, oat milk, I highly recommend for this latte recipe, absolutely. And uh, Kind Bee says, I make chai at home daily with ginger, cinnamon, and lemon, no milk. Okay, yes, that's a nice combination too. I like that combo. Hi, VV3838. Laura says, um, the hardest transition was finding gluten-free options. I have celiac that are, that are also um, vegan. Okay, gluten-free vegan options. If anyone has any recommendations for Laura for gluten-free vegan options, comment in the chat right now and let her know your favorite gluten-free vegan alternative so we can help her out. Um, all right, Laura, I'm definitely going to hit you up later and we can talk more about that, okay? All right. Um, James Shine says the search bar is helpful. Yeah, there's a search bar on the beginnercooking.com site where you can, um, on the easy recipe page, you can search for whatever um, uh, recipes you want. And you can also filter by category, whether you're looking what you wanna look at for just the drinks or just the meals or just the desserts or just, um, you know, uh, just the cooking classes, whatever it is. Flores Albolino, where are you tuning in from? Marie says, made with love. Yes. Laura says, thank you for the support, guys. You are all awesome. Yes. This is the beginner community, my beginner team. I love you guys. We are all spreading the plant based love. Hi, DJ San Juan. What's going on? Why well, says, the prettiest chef. Mwah, you're so sweet, love. Well, we just finished making a homemade chai tea latte. You can get the recipe at chai.beginnercooking.com. Oh, I just keep smelling it. It smells so good. Oh, I can't wait to drink that. All right, guys, I think it's time to announce the giveaway winner. Yeah, so you guys ready? Do you remember the strawberry earrings that I was wearing at last week's class? Well, if you entered last week's class, that means that you could win these strawberry earrings right here, right now. I ship them out to you. So um, I'm going to announce that winner. And if you want to enter to win the pineapple earrings, click that share button and share this cooking class all week long with your family, your friends, on your profile, to Facebook groups, um, to your Instagram stories, to your Facebook stories. Just share this class. The more shares, the better. And then I'm gonna, going to announce what, uh, the winner of one of you guys that shared at next week's class. So make sure you come back next Sunday to find out who won the pineapple earrings. All right, guys? But the winner of the strawberry earrings are, and again, thank you to everyone who is sharing every single week. You guys want to know, am I keeping you in suspense? Am I fooling you? Do you keep making when you announce the winner and then I kind of trail off again? <laughs> All right. The winner is... Drum roll, please. Sharon Kelly! Everyone, congratulate Sharon Kelly, who is the winner of the Strawberry Inspiration Earrings. And, uh, you know, Sharon has been with us probably, I'd say that, she has attended more of these cooking classes than probably anybody. I think that Sharon hasn't missed a class yet. Sharon, am I right? Have you been at every single cooking class since I started these classes? So I am really, really happy that Sharon is the winner of the strawberry earrings because she has been with us since the beginning. And not only does she share these classes all the time, but she always helps out other people in the beginner community as well. She's always commenting and sharing tips and advice and replying to other people's comments and sharing her knowledge because she's been a vegan ever since she was a little girl way longer than I have and um, she has so much knowledge to share so um, everyone um, if you need any vegan tips and advice um, Sharon is definitely another great person to go to for um, for lots of plant-based love and support so Sharon congratulations everyone say congratulations to Sharon kind B says congrats Sharon Christian put a bunch of applause hands. 
Lucci says, congrats, Sharon. Uh, Jacqueline says, yay, go Sharon. Marie says, congrats, Sharon. Sharon says, woohoo, thank you. You're very welcome, love. I hope you love your plant-based inspiration earrings and I hope that when you wear them, you can continue to inspire people to try a plant-based diet like you already have been all of these years. So keep up the good work and keep on spreading that plant-based love like you always do. All right, love? All right, Nicole says, yay, Sharon, we love you. Marie says, well-deserved, yeah. Yes, guys, I love how there's so much love in this in this live stream right now. We're just we're just smothering each other with that love, aren't we? Yes, yes. All right, guys, I am going to wrap up this stream soon. Don't forget to click that share button right now and all week long. Whether you're watching the video live or watching the replay, you are eligible to win these pineapple inspiration earrings. Just click that share button, spread the plant-based love, and come back next Sunday to see if you won. All right, guys? So everyone, if you made the homemade chai tea latte, Please take a sip. It should be cooled down a little bit now so you can enjoy your latte. Share it with your friends and family and uh, make it whenever you get a craving for an amazing homemade delicious latte. All right, guys? So cheers to you. I'm going to take a sip right now. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. Ah. Oh like perfectly coats my throat it's so creamy it's so smooth it's so aromatic you guys you're gonna love this latte you're gonna love it i am christina's here she said cheers yes cheers to you too what's going on christina i'm so glad you finally joined us i've been wanting you to join our beginner classes um Lucci says, I'm gluten-free and vegan. They have a lot of choices out there. I shop at Fairway Supermarket. Okay, Lucci. Lucci, I've got to connect you with Laura so you can share some of your gluten-free ideas. Yes. Lucci is amazing for that. She's the perfect one to help. Alina tunes in. Hi, Alina. Alina's tuning in from her airplane about to take off. That's awesome, babe. Alina says, love that lipstick. Alina, you gave me this lipstick, Alina. So thank you. Thank you for the lipstick. Alina says, yum. Lucci says, delicious. Stallion, where are you tuning in from? Christina shared the live. Thank you so much for sharing the live stream, love. I appreciate the support. Laura says, yay, Sharon. Marie says, a show filled with sunshine. Aw. I love you guys. All right, guys. So don't forget to tune in next Sunday to find out who won the pineapple earrings. And um, it's at 4 p.m. EDT at facebook.com slash Cheryl.tv. And if you want to get a reminder before we go live, go to rsvp.beginnercooking.com and I will send you a reminder. All right, guys. And um, don't forget to make this latte whenever you're in the mood for an amazing latte. And if you want more amazing latte recipes, my robot has them all. So if you have a favorite latte, just let me know and I will go ahead and, uh, and look it up for you and I'll send you his recipe. So this way you can make whatever your favorite latte is. Chai is my favorite, but I know a lot of people have their own favorites. So if you want me to look up his version of your favorite latte, let me know and I will send you um, his recipe for that, all right? And if you'd like a complimentary demo on zoom and some promo codes let me know you can sign up for that at robot.beginnercooking.com and you can meet my robot chef in person on zoom we can do a private zoom chat and i'll show you how he works and everything that he can do um, and the multi-level cooking and all that fun stuff so again you can sign up for that free demo at robot.beginnercooking.com where you can learn more about my my lover in the kitchen my sous chef all right, guys, thank you again for watching. Uh, keep spreading that plant-based love. Keep sharing this video all week long. If you're watching the replay, uh, put the hashtag replay so I know it's to come back and show you some love in the comments later. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all again next Sunday. Bye, everybody.